all right welcome back to office 365 skype uh, uh, configuration or admin center uh, we lost uh, the organization thing i want to quickly show you these three tabs um i am summing them in one because there's really nothing in it and um I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna exclude the reports because I want to do the reports at the very end I'm gonna do the because um, when I was actually poking around in the reports for the uh, not here in the office 365 I saw the Skype tab over there as well if you uh, and I think I mentioned somewhere in my video over there oh Skype is here and all that so basically what I want I saw that uh, there was nothing in Skype so what I want to do is I want to go through the Skype and then teams as well and i want to see if those reports like gets updated and what kind of data is there because if uh, since i hadn't used skype or teams there was nothing in there but there was data from other one so i just want to uh, that data to build up so when i go finally to reports i have something to play with and you know i have better understanding so let's go with the audio conferencing audio conferencing uh, microsoft says try to purchase audio conference and these are so basically they're saying yeah, yeah, yeah whatever you're gonna pay the third party pay us that's what it is so um but i'm just you know <laughs> trying to be funny while i should not be because i really have no idea how the conferencing uh, payment and uh, plans works and what are the difference only somebody in the organization uh, in the billing would know or you know they can provide you data but this is all of that I didn't I clicked here in so I don't want to do that <clears throat> because as I said Skype is almost out so <clears throat> It would be good to know if Skype was still in, uh, but if you would like to configure third-party audio conference provider, instead click here, and you can find a provider and configure third-party thing. And bridge setting basically says go back to bridge and purchase it. Then you have the settings here, and then the users, like all the users here. If I click one, I get the pencil <coughs> and provide a name like. So I think we already saw this screen. There's really nothing in here. <clears throat> the next thing is online meetings. This is interesting and it reminded me of all the web uh, seminars, but it reminded me something else. Uh, Yahoo was the first one to start that. Basically they allowed uh, you to put your camera and then like put your camera on and just broadcast it it was i think yahoo broadcast or something so basically meeting is in, this is the invitation tab you can send an invitation like logo url uh, i talked about that in the email thing where if you can attach a one megabit purse one mb file on each email and you know just imagine if each user is sending 100 me for emails and you know thousand user will send thousand hundred thousand how quickly it's a duplication of that uh, image but with the logo URL it's just one logo it's just one tiny one megabit file that you just have to share the URL and it displays there <clears throat> so basically you put the URL here over there it's not URL it's gonna be the logo the help URL you can put like your company's help so page like it will be office365.office.com slash help ihamid.org slash help if that's your help page like when you scroll down to the bottom there's help section you can put the url there legal um if you have a legal department you can <laughs> i'm laughing because some people some people when they call i say yeah oh, we're gonna show you uh, i'm uh, some even um there was this like some even threat to sue, sue you but there was this very funny guy he mentioned a lawyer and he said i'm personally friend with him and you know you gotta give me this credit or i'm gonna ask him to sue you uh you know because he i think that friend uh, the lawyer friend was a big name something like that so 
<laughs> that's why I'm uh, I'm laughing but you can put the legal URL here <clears throat> and we have a procedure if somebody is threatening to sue or all that then we don't take that call um, like as an agent we just escalate it to somebody higher up who can actually um, uh, better um, help them uh, and but regardless if it's us or them all the calls are recorded so anybody in the organization can pull that call and he uh, <coughs> uh, hear what said so this is the you can put the legal URL and then the footer text it's like you want to put anything in the footer so basically that invitation will be sent and it it will be included all this so if you save it it's gonna be saved the broadcast meeting the broadcast meeting is not like Yahoo broadcast what I said um, like I actually thought about that time it was snowing and I thought hey it will be cool if I put my webcam on the window and show the word hey it's snowing here I didn't do that because the cable was too short <laughs> so broadcast meeting it's like uh, you know sometimes they say join us at 8 p.m. Eastern time webinar so that webinar is this thing so basically what they do is they set up cameras and you know they they just do their meeting and they are broadcasting it live so it's not this broadcast meeting don't think it it's like a, a regular meeting while well, people will s join Skype and we earlier talked about one they're all sitting in one room the other one sitting in one room the other room in a different location remote and they have this uh, TV that they can watch the other room no broadcast that means that you are broadcasting it to the world or very large population so you can send them out on a web and it's you know seminar to webinar while anybody if they go to that uh, if they follow if it's an email they click on the link they go to their website and you know the player comes up and they can see what's going on uh, so this one is what you want to do you enable Skype meeting broadcast okay if it's enabled then and only then Skype for business can be used for uh, meeting broadcast preview feature for my organization anonymous meetings like uh, they would not know who set it up or where it's set up who is the attendees and who is gonna host all that a lot of broadcast meetings to be recorded so basically whatever you're sending you are just sending the audio or video out I will record it uh, let me think yeah just record it oh this no 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 this thing allow so sh this means that if somebody wants to record it uh, like uh, allow it in their you know, Skype or whatever so yep I, I I will definitely do that because then um, it's a seminar seminar or something whatever you can post it just like I, I I am going to do with this video post it on your YouTube so you know okay if you're doing it every year or every month you have a record uh, what it was or what it was about what was uh, who were the attendees who were the guests what were what they talked about EDC very good tools most excited thing because it has the proof that Microsoft is really kicking the Skype out so let me show you click on this 404 right <coughs> troubleshooting online sign-in issues so you have to go and you know they move the page but they never fix the 404 other thing Skype for business again 404 so the account is using link connectivity Microsoft link server introduction they give you some links like basically this one this page has been moved 404 is saying that uh, and you say permanently redirected these are auto generated so you don't have to think they they updated it no it's a uh, auto generated finally the link with that will work is I believe this one so announcing my support and recovery system for office 65 the reason I was really excited look at these logos and this one exchange logo and office this logo is way back I think it was uh, in 2003 or 2000 something like that 
so see how old these logos are and Microsoft is not bothering to change or do all that so it's really basically this one is like a, a, a system so you can click on either of the radio button and you will get the assistance so let's say exchange active sync link is that uh, Skype let's go with this one next you have sign in address and you can click oh yeah okay. let's do that a aslan at and <clears throat> yeah thank you you're gonna come on l d l y w d five l k <clears throat> and i 30 minutes maximum thank you so i'm verified <coughs> okay connectivity test successful so somehow it is successful whatever so the third one is setting up sky for business online external communities just a help link and sky for business online qual quality dashboard login i click on here i go with admin saved password yes <coughs> and there was nothing i think i refreshed it and something came up or not maybe not okay but you see link.com <coughs> what i'm trying to say here is that Skype is almost gone. So nope, it's been for a month. All right, so everything is gone. Skype for business call analytics. So it was retired back in uh, about eleven months ago. So you see, um, I'm gonna wrap this video here. There's nothing left except for reports. I'm gonna wait. I can show you actually. So there is nothing here uh, so I think you have to date and all that but since there are no messages being sent or received if I go click it's still I even I signed out and signed back in it says and there's no way to add like your users and everybody so I'm actually it keeps pushing me towards teams <clears throat> so let's wrap this video here if this video has helped you please rate comment share subscribe and you have a good night